Hi there, my name is Axiom, and in this video we're going to take a look at one of the new features in version 12 of Foundry VTT, and that will be Scene Regions. Okay, as of recording, version 12 testing version 3 is out. They are getting closer and closer towards their stable version, which will obviously be the the proper release of version 12. So let's have a look at the new feature, Scene Regions. Those that have used active tile triggers and things like that from Monks before will uh, know some of the ideas of what this is going to be doing. But basically you're going to have regions that you can set up that can trigger events happening, uh, pause the screen, or uh, change the light levels, or teleport characters across the maps, etc. It'll just be built directly into the main system rather than being a, an add-on that you need. So let's have a quick look and see. On the side panel now, there will be a new section called Region Controls. And in here, when we initially go in here, we should see some options for building different shapes. These are all fairly easy to understand what's going on here. And we get a list of the regions that have been created on this scene. So currently at the moment we have we have none. One of the common uses would be for making some sort of a teleporter. So let's try that out first of all. In this case, I'm going to make it so when the character walks into the door here, they get teleported across the map and we'll see how that works out. So in this region section, I'm going to make a new region. I'm just going to draw a rectangle here as my sort of initial teleporter. And then we get a dialogue that comes up for it. I can set colors for it. Elevations, I'm sure, will become more useful with time. There is a new layer that is this region layer. Uh, then I'm going to just update that region so that now exists. And then we can go up here and configure the region. We could obviously have named it something. So let's also uh, change that now to a teleport. And the key one is going to be what behaviors that we're going to give it. So we're going to create a behavior. So you can have it execute a macro and different bits and bobs. But in this case, we're going to teleport a token and we're going to create that region uh, behavior. And we have a destination uh, link that we need to add in here. So I'm going to just update that for a moment. So we've got our first region there. I'm then going to create a second region. And this is going to be teleport to and then update that. So I can now go into the cog here of teleport one and I've already set up for that teleport token option is on. We can then go and edit that behavior. And the key bit is we need the destination UUID for the uh, other one. Uh, to get that, what we do is we go into the cog of this one here. And then if I right click on copy document ID here and paste it in here, I can then go add and that should add correctly. Then we can update the behavior and we can close both of those down. And then now if I go over here and find my token, I can move them into that region and he will instantly teleport to the to the other one. So this will be nice and simple to be able to set these up and setting this up directly within Foundry. OK, next idea using regions will be for dealing with scenes like this where we have an outside area which should all be globally illuminated. And then once the token moves on the inside of the building, the light level should be lower and relying on the internal lighting. We can now set that up quite easily. So I'm going to now create a new region. I'm going to use the draw polygon tool this time, and I'm just going to trace the outside of this building. I'm going to call this region inside and update. So I've now got this region here. And then what we can go and do is, again, if we hit the cog on the region here, we can go to the behavior types again, add a new behavior. And in this case, we are going to do an adjust darkness level and create that. So we can do an override to a certain level of brightness if we need to or something like this. But probably the use, most useful one will be to go to the darker mode. And we're going to have it be that it's fairly dark on the inside and then I'm going to update that behavior and update the region and now we can see the area within the building is at a lower light level than the globally illuminated space around I'm going to just adjust that a little more because uh, to my taste because that seems a little too dark for this 
particular scene. So I'm just going to go in and edit that up about half half level of lightness and do that. I think that's a bit more to my taste with the uh, with the darkness level there on that one. And another handy option that we'll be able to use. And the last main region one we can try out for now is weather suppression. So I'm just going to go up in here and I'm going to configure this area to have some weather effects going on. Let's go for a blizzard going on on the outside. So obviously we don't want this uh, going on inside our building. So again, we can do what we've done before. I'm going to create a polygon region and draw out around the building. And just name it weather block and update the region. And then I can go into here and I can add a behavior and we can go down to suppress weather and update the region, update the block. And that gives us a nice another way to do weather suppressing within a building. So regions look like they're going to be very, very useful. And I look forward to seeing what other mods will do using this system now that this will be available going forward. Thank you for listening and please like and subscribe for more content.